During this tutorial video, we're going to explain step by step how to enable voicemail transcriptions on your 3CX phone system using the Google Speech to Text API. This means instead of having to listen to your voicemails sent to you in an email, you'll be able to quickly read what was said directly in the body of the email itself. To get this working and set up, you're going to need a couple of prerequisites. Firstly, you need to be using either a 3CX Pro or Enterprise license for your phone system. You're also going to need a Google Cloud account. We'll use that to set up the speech to text API. So once you're signed into your Google Cloud platform account, from the left hand menu, choose APIs and services, uh, and then select dashboard. Then hover over and click on enable APIs and services. From this screen, you're going to look for Cloud Speech to Text API. If it isn't immediately obvious on the options within the portal, you can use the search option at the top to search for Speech to Text. When you select that, selected that, you should be greeted with this screen. I'm just going to make reference at this point to the pricing of this particular service by Google. Now, you can see there is a price. Uh, for every minute that you use the speech to text API function, but you do get 60 minutes of free usage every month. With the voicemails, they, they'll only capture the first minute of any voicemail with speech to text. So it's a maximum of 60 voicemails until you've reached the point where this will cost you anything. So knowing that, all you need to do is hit the blue enable button. This will create a cloud speech to text API. Your next step is to create an API credential, uh, which acts as the logon for your 3CX system uh, to connect to the cloud speech to text service. So once the API has been uh, enabled, you can go back to the dashboard, go back to APIs and services from the left hand menu, and choose credentials. At this point, at the top, you have the option to click Create Credentials. And from the drop down, you need to select API Key. This will then create an API key, which you will then copy and paste into your 3CX system. And we'll show you how to uh, do that in a moment. Uh, we also suggest that you restrict the key. The idea behind this is to make sure that no other services besides your 3CX system can gain access to this service. So we just need to create a name for this API key. I'm just going to call this one 3CX Speech to Text API key. Then I'm going to select IP address in terms of application restrictions. And then I'm going to add our 3CX IP address uh, into the option that appears. So you can gain access to the IP address from the dashboard of your 3CX system. If you simply copy and paste that information in, this will keep this particular service secure so that nobody else can access the, uh, the speech to text. By doing this, what you're essentially doing is restricting access to the Google API so that only the 3CX system will gain access to this service. Under the API restrictions, you need to select Restrict Key and then select the name of the API that you created in the step above. In my case, this is Cloud Speech to Text API. Once you've completed these steps, hit Save. You've now got an API key with Speech to Text set up on the Google pl platform, which you can use within your 3CX system to transcribe your voicemails. So I'm just going to jump over to our 3CX system now, and I'm going to go to the settings option. And from within settings, I'm going to select voicemail. Once on this page, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the option to use the transcription service. If you enable that, you can simply paste the Google API key that was created from the previous step in here, we selected just purely to use voicemail uh, transcription rather than recordings. Copy your API key from the Google platform and paste this into the 
uh, the top field here. Once that's all done, what we can do is we can show you an example of how this works uh, with a voicemail to speech to text conversion. So here we've got an example of a voicemail that's been left for us. And here's the audio. Hi, Joe, it's Karen. Can you please give me a call back on 07846 Thank you. And this is what appears when the email uh, with the voicemail to email comes through. We obviously get the attachment, the recorded attachment, but it's also transcribed and given us the text that was said in that particular voicemail. So we don't even need to listen to the recording. We can see instantly what the voicemail said. Hopefully that's been useful. If you have a 3CX system and require advanced configurations like this, where you need speech to text in voicemail, feel free to contact the team at Reformed IT and we can help and assist. If you'd like an opportunity to try 3CX phone system completely free for 30 days, then please inquire using the link in our video description.